And let's get out to Camby Brown as the run to remember is about to get underway. Good morning. Hey, More than a thousand people are waiting to take this run, and this is going to happen, as you can see, in 55 seconds. Uh, it's it's really emotional out here as we talk to people. There are people who are running. There are people who are watching in support. Tim, being out here as a firefighter, your family running, your wife with your newborn baby is going to be out here remembering this as well. Why do you think people choose this as a way to remember the? Who lost their lives on September 11? Well, let's to come out, uh, them to come out here as a family and really take part uh, together. That's what it's really about: remembering together, uh, vowing to never forget. And then they get to also place the flag. I think that's a big piece of it: is our flag memorial, where they actually get to see a name, place a flag by it. Hopefully, they take that name home and Google it and, and learn about that person, so they truly remember them. Earlier, they were giving some statistics that you just find shocking, and they're doing the countdown for the race right now, guys. So I'll let you take this as they as they get ready to start the race here. And there are 1,200 people or so who are off uh, for this 9-11 remembrance run. When they get done, that's when they're given the flag, and that's when they make this memorial out here at Capitol Mall. One of the statistics that they were talking about, you know, we, we talk about the people who lost their lives, but 3,051 children were left without a parent after this. When you hear something like this, and day after day as a firefighter, you're putting your life on the line now, not just two boys, but the three boys, how does that make you feel? It's good to know that they have support. I mean, it's it's horrible. The incident was horrible. We try to do our best to remember and to make sure that they're taken care of forever. And, and I saw a piece on the news the other day about the Tuesday morning children. I think that's what it's called. And the, they take care of those children that were left behind. And, and the organizations like that supporting them, making sure that they have what they need. Uh, community raises the kids now, right? 15 years later, are you surprised that you still have the support of the nation? No, I don't think it's a surprise at all. I think uh, if you were around at that time, it'll be in your memory forever, just like D-Day was for our grandparents, um, you know, just like uh, Pearl Harbor was for our grandparents. For so, your children, how do you help them remember September 11th because they weren't around during that time? So it's kind of an age progression. You start off by just doing things like this where you don't really talk about the details as much, but you talk about the people and the importance of remembering them. And then I think as they grow older, we're kind of exposing them to more and more of the details of that day. Um, so that they can kind of understand why it's so important to remember. You, we were uh, at the Renaissance Tower earlier where they were doing the climb. We have this run for people who are watching right now and they haven't had the chance to do something today to remember September 11th. As a firefighter, what would you ask them to do to remember those who lost their lives? We're always welcome to head right down, head downtown right now and they can place a flag in our memorial. But just do a little bit of internet search. Internet search a name, read about someone who, who passed away that day. That way we'll never forget about it. Yeah, and, and we were seeing those firefighters as they were wearing the names on them, and these people will get the flag with the name as well so that they can remember out here uh, on this day of remembrance. That's really what it is all about. Guys? Brown, live for us in Sacramento this morning. I've had the privilege to cover this a couple years uh, in a row, mm -hmm. and there are even uh, firefighters that come out fully dressed up to run as well. Yeah. So it's